Hello dear students welcome back to the chemistry class we were discussing the colligative properties of the solutions previously till now we have completed two colligative properties the first one was relative lowering in vapor pressure the second one was yesterday that was elevation in boiling point now we have the third colligative property depression in freezing point you know what is a freezing point freezing point means melting point of a substance now what do you mean by freezing point of a substance freezing point means it is a temperature at which the solid and liquid state the solid and liquid states of a substance have same vapor pressure okay freezing point it is a temperature at that temperature the solid and liquid form of a substance they have same vapor pressure for example what is the solid state or solid form of water that is ice the liquid state or liquid form will be water okay now at a certain temperature the vapor pressure of this ice will be equal to the vapor pressure of water okay at a particular temperature the vapor pressure of the solid form that is ice will be equal to vapor pressure of the liquid form that is water now that temperature is called as freezing point the temperature at which the vapor pressure of solid state will be equal to vapor pressure of the liquid state for water it is found to be 0 degree celsius or 273.15 kelvin okay at this temperature the vapor pressure of the ice will be equal to the vapor pressure of water hence this temperature is known as freezing point of water okay so you know what is freezing point now it is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solid form of a substance will be equal to vapor pressure of the liquid form of the substance now moving forward with the main topic that is depression in freezing point i have told you depression in freezing point it is a colligative property you know what is a colligative property colligative property of a solution it is the property which depends which depends only on number of solute particles you already know this right the colligative property is only depends on the number of solute particles it does not depend on the nature of solute so depression in freezing point it is a colligative property that means this property will depend only on number of solute particles if there are more number of solute particles the value of this property will be more if the number of particles are less then the value will be less now it has been observed that the freezing point of solution you take any solution okay freezing point of a solution is always less than the freezing point of pure solvent okay this thing you have to remember the freezing point of any solution will always be less than the freezing point or melting point of pure solvent for example you take sugar solution what is the solvent present in sugar solution that is water now it has been observed that the freezing point of sugar solution is always less than the freezing point of water okay so you have to remember this the freezing point of any solution is always less than freezing point of pure solvent yesterday you studied about boiling points 
there you studied that the boiling point of solution is always more or greater than the boiling point of pure solvent okay the boiling point of any solution it is always greater always more than the boiling point of pure solvent now this is exactly opposite to this the boiling point of the solution will be more whereas the freezing point of the solution will be less now this property it is known as elevation in boiling point study you studied this it is called elevation in boiling point because the boiling point of the solution is more that is why it is called elevation in boiling point now it is called depression in freezing point because the freezing point of the solution is less compared to the freezing point of pure solvent okay so now you know why it is called elevation in boiling point yesterday i explained this and you know why it is called depression in freezing point why it is called depression in freezing point because the freezing point of the solution is found to be less than the freezing point of pure solvent so this is the basic introduction to depression in freezing point now mathematical expressions for this colligative property now depression in freezing point this colligative property is given by delta tf okay the change in freezing point f stands for freezing point so delta tf is called depression in freezing point it will be equal to t not f minus tf the depression in freezing point it is equal to tf not minus tf here tf not it is called freezing point of pure solvent i explained to you before if zero is present here it always uh, you have to always consider pure component now tf stands for the freezing point of solution freezing point or melting point of entire solution that is tf you know that the freezing point of the solution is less compared to freezing point of pure solvent that is why we are taking tf not first tf not minus tf that is nothing but depression in freezing point okay so this is the first mathematical expression for this colligative property delta tf it is equal to the freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of the solution yesterday also you studied about this yesterday you uh, studied about elevation in boiling point it was given by delta tb here b stands for boiling point here f stands for freezing point delta tb it is elevation in boiling point delta tf it is depression in freezing point yesterday you studied that delta tb it is equal to tb minus tb not okay it is just reversed here tb not is coming in the second order here t not f or tf not it is coming in the first order why because here tb value is more than t not b here t not f value is greater than tf that is the only reason both are very similar just the order is slightly different so this is the first mathematical expression for depression in freezing point now it ha it has been experimentally observed that the depression in freezing point delta tf it is directly proportional to molality here small m stands for molality molality is nothing but number of solute number of moles of solute number of moles of solute present in the given solvent it is nothing but number of solute particles so delta tf depends on molarity delta tf is directly proportional to molarity that means delta tf the depression in freezing point depends on number of solute particles hence it is called colligative property you know that colligative property depends on number of solute particles 
Now, if someone asks you why depression in freezing point is a colligative property, you have to say that the depression in freezing point depends on the number of solute particles. That is why it is a colligative property. Okay, the depression in freezing point, it is directly proportional to number of solute particles. If the solute particles are present in larger numbers, then the value of delta Tf will be more. Okay. Now, if you want to remove this proportionality symbol, you have to introduce a constant there, proportionality constant. So, delta Tf will be equal to Kf multiplied by molality. Now, I am introducing a constant here that is called Kf. Here, Kf stands for molal depression constant. Kf is called molal depression constant. It is also called cryoscopic constant. It is also called cryoscopic constant. So this is the second mathematical expression for depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point, it is equal to cryoscopic constant multiplied by molality of the solution. Yesterday you studied about elevation in boiling point. They studied that delta Tb, it is equal to Kb multiplied by molality. Both expressions are exactly similar. The only difference is uh, the only difference is here you are considering freezing point. Here you are considering the boiling point. Okay, here Kb it is known as molal elevation constant. Kf is called molal depression constant. That is the only difference. Otherwise, both are almost similar. Now. Suppose imagine that if molality of the solution is 1, we have a solution whose molality is 1. We call it 1 molal solution. Yesterday I told you molal solution means you are considering molality of the solution. Molar solution means molar solution means you are considering the molarity of the solution if you say one molar solution that means molality of the solution is one if you say 0.1 molar solution that means molality of the solution is 0.1 similarly if you say 0.5 molar solution that means molarity of the solution is 0.5 Okay, so here molality is 1, that means it is 1 molal solution. So if molality is 1, what will be this expression? Now delta Tf will be equal to, will be equal to, we have Kf here multiplied by molality. What is the molality? It is 1. So delta Tf will be equal to K. So, when will be Kf equal to the depression in freezing point? The constant Kf will be equal to depression in freezing point when we have one molar solution. So, depression in freezing point okay, will be equal to Kf if molality it is equal to 1. Now, you can from this expression you can write the definition for this constant, for cryoscopic constant. So, molal depression constant is defined as the depression in freezing point for one molal solution. That means the constant will be equal to the freezing point, depression in freezing point when molality will be equal to 1. So, this is the concept of depression in freezing point. You have to know that what is a freezing point. It is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of solid will be equal to the vapor pressure of liquid state of the same substance, not different substance. So, taking water, you have to take both solid and liquid forms of water. 
okay that is freezing point it is the temperature at which the vapor pressures of solid and liquid forms will be equal or it will, it will be same next we have this one you know that the freezing point of the solution will always be less than the freezing point of your solvent you have to remember this okay the freezing point of solution that is tf okay tf will always be less than t not okay then we have this mathematical expression delta tf stands for depression in freezing point the colligative property it will be equal to the difference in freezing points of pure solvent and solution the freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of the solution what you will get you will get depression in freezing point given by delta tf it it, it has been also observed that delta tf depression in freezing point is directly proportional to molality it depends on molality molality means number of moles of solute that means simply number of solute particles molality means number of solute particles present in the solution so delta tf depends on number of solute particles hence it is a colligative property now if you want to remove this proportionality symbol you have to introduce a proportionality constant that is kf delta tf will be equal to kf multiplied by molality kf stands for molar depression constant or also known as cryoscopic constant when the molality will be equal to 1 when you take a solution whose molality is equal to 1 we call it one molal solution then what happens delta tf will be equal to kf the cryoscopic constant will be equal to the depression in freezing point when you consider one molal solution so this is about depression in freezing point just like the previous colligative properties you can use this depression in freezing point to calculate molar mass of the solute so now we derive an expression for the calculation of molar mass using depression in freezing point. So here you have calculation of molar mass of solute given by mb you already know b stands for solute a stands for solvent whereas capital m is nothing but molar mass so we have the expression delta tf it is equal to kf multiplied by molality you know the formula of molality molality of a solution molality m will be equal to mass of solute that is wb divided by molar mass of the solute that is mb multiplied by 1000 divided by mass of solvent in grams okay this is the formula for molality you already studied this in the previous year you studied this this year also in this very this chapter you studied this now let us substitute this value of molality here so we'll get delta tf it is equal to we already have kf here multiplied by so what is m here m is wb into 1000 divided by what we have here we have mb multiplied by wa mass of solvent now what you are calculating here you are calculating you are deriving an expression for molar mass of the solute you are deriving an expression for mb so let me take mb on the left hand side it will come on the numerator side and delta tf i am sending on this side it will come on denominator side 
So when MB comes to this side, we have MB, it is equal to what we have here, KF multiplied by WB into 1000, right? Divided by, when delta TF comes here, delta TF multiplied by, what is remaining here? WA is remaining. So this is the mathematical expression for the calculation of molar mass of the solute using depression in freezing point. Yesterday also you derived an expression for molar mass of the solute. There you used the elevation in boiling point. That was MB. It is equal to KB into WB into 1000 divided by delta TB into WA. This is the expression of molar mass when you are using elevation in boiling point. Now look at the both equations. They are almost very identical, very similar. The only difference is here you are considering freezing points, but here you are considering boiling points. That is only the difference. Otherwise both equations, both expressions are very similar, very easy to remember. If you remember this one, you can easily remember this one. Just substitute F with B. Okay, so this is for elevation in boiling point. This is for depression in freezing point. So using this expression, you can calculate the molar mass of the solute. In order to calculate the molar mass of the solute, you need the value of this constant Kf. You need the masses of solute and solvent. You also need the depression in freezing point. Now, let us solve some numerical problems on depression in freezing point. Starting with the first problem, we have 45 grams of ethylene glycol. The molecular formula of ethylene glycol is C2H6O2. Okay, so 45 grams of ethylene glycol is mixed with 600 grams of water. Okay, so the mass of water is given the mass of ethylene glycol is given. If you compare both the masses, we can see that water is present in larger quantity. Hence, water is the solvent. Ethylene glycol is present in smaller quantity. Ethylene glycol is the solute. So here, the solvent is water. And the solute B is ethylene glycol. Now, what you have to do? You have to calculate freezing point depression. Okay, freezing point depression means depression in freezing point, delta Tf. Also, you have to calculate freezing point of the solution. Freezing point of the solution means Tf. What is given? Kf for water is given. The value of constant is given, that is 1.86. So, mass of solvent A, mass of water, that is 600 grams. Mass of solute B, that is ethylene glycol, 45 grams. Right. Next, Kf is given, that is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. Now the solvent present here is water. Okay, the solvent is water. Now you know the expression that is T naught F. T naught F means the freezing point of pure solvent. Freezing point of pure solvent or melting point of pure solvent. The solvent is water here. That means Tf0 means freezing point of water. You know what is the melting point of water? In Kelvin, it is 273.15 Kelvin. In degree Celsius, it is 0 degree Celsius. So this value is not given, but you have to take it. You know the value of melting point of water. That is why it is not given. It is common knowledge. So Tf0, it stands for freezing po point of the solvent that is water it is 273.15 kelvin now you have to calculate first one delta tf 
okay freezing point depression or depression in freezing point delta tf previously i derived an expression it is given by kf into molality what is molality wb into 1000 divided by mb into wa so this is the expression this is the formula for delta tf now kf value is given yes wb value is given s wa value is given s what is not given mb is not given mb means molar mass of the solute so which is the solute here molar mass of solute solute means c2 h6 o2 the molecular formula is given you can calculate the molar mass so two carbon atoms are there the atomic mass of carbon is 12 plus six hydrogen atoms are there the atomic mass of hydrogen is approximately one and oxygen atom two oxygen atoms are there multiplied by 16 so this is 24 plus 6 plus 32 so the value will be 62 gram per mole so i calculated mb here mb is 62 gram per mole okay now you can substitute this mb value here now let us calculate delta tb so delta tb will be equal to what is kf kf is 1.86 into what is wb mass of solute 45 grams into 1000 divided by what is mb just you just now you calculated 62 what is wa it is 600 now when you calculate this when you do this calculation you will get a value 2.25 kelvin that is nothing but depression in freezing point okay delta tf that is the answer for the first one now you have to calculate the second one freezing point of the solution okay now the second one you know another uh, mathematical ex expression for delta tf delta tf it is equal to tf naught minus tf okay i explained this already delta tf it is equal to the freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of solution now what you have to calculate here freezing point of the solution we have to calculate so let me bring this on this side delta tf i'll send on that side so tf is equal to tf naught minus delta tf this is equal to what is tf naught it is 273.15 minus what is delta tf you calculated here 2.25 now when you calculate this you will get a value that is 270.90 kelvin this is nothing but freezing point of the solution okay so this is how you have to calculate the depression in freezing point if mb is not given you have to calculate mb then the calculation of the solution freezing point of the solution you have to use this mathematical expression if the freezing point of the solvent is not given okay if the solvent given is water then you have to automatically take tf naught it is equal to 273.15 this is only for water if other solvent is given this value will be given they will give this value if they consider if they give other solvent they will give the value of tf naught if the solvent is water you have to take this value now let us move forward with the second numerical problem regarding the depression in freezing point we have been calculating the molar mass of the compound in this second problem you will be calculating the molar mass of the solute or the compound now let us see the problem addition of 0 0.643 gram of a compound to 50 ml of benzene okay a certain unknown compound it is added to 50 ml of benzene how much compound is added to benzene 
0.643 gram of this unknown compound it is added to 50 ml of benzene 50 ml if ml is given if liter is given then it is the volume so volume of the benzene is given that is 50 ml in bracket density 0.879 gram per ml the density of benzene is given okay so volume of benzene is given density of benzene is given you can calculate the mass of benzene the weight of benzene now when this ad uh, addition occurs when this compound is added to benzene what happens it lowers the freezing point the freezing point the melting point it will get lowered it lowers from 5.51 degrees celsius to 5.03 degrees celsius the freezing point will decrease from this temperature to this temperature if kf of benzene the value of constant this is molar depression constant it is given 5.12 degrees celsius calculate the molar mass of the compound Okay, it's a very simple compound just that you have to calculate the mass of benzene it is not directly given now the mass or weight of solute that is b b means solute it is an unknown compound so it is 0 0.643 gram you know that density of any compound it is equal to mass by volume density of benzene is given that is 0 0.879 it is equal to let us take it as mass of benzene divided by volume of benzene that is 50 ml okay so this is how you have to calculate the mass of any substance if density and volumes are given so density of benzene it is equal to mass of benzene divided by volume of benzene so wb will be equal to if you sign 50 on that side you get 879 into 50 now when you calculate this you get 43.95 gram so this is wb mass of solvent okay so this is wa let me take it as wa because you are calculating for benzene it is a solvent so mass of solvent is 43.95 grams now the lowering in vapor pressure is given freezing point lowers from that temperature to this temperature so the depression in freezing point it is equal to you know the formula tf naught minus tf always take the higher value of freezing point first so 5.51 minus lower value 5.03 so here you will get 0 0.48 degree celsius this is nothing but the value of tf depression in freezing point just subtract the temperatures you will get the depression in freezing point what you have to calculate you have to calculate the molar mass of the solute that is mb you have to calculate what else is given kf is given the value of kf it is equal to 5.12 degree celsius kg per molality or mole now you know the formula for the calculation of molecular mass of the solute mb it is equal to kf multiplied by mass of solute wb into 1000 divided by depression in freezing point delta tf multiplied by mass of solvent wa now you know all the values kf is given wb it is given okay delta tf you calculated here w a you calculated here using density and volume so you can calculate mb very easy so this is equal to so what is kf 5.12 multiplied by what is wb it is given here okay 0 0.643 into 1000 divided by delta tf you calculated here 0 0.48 
Okay, now <coughs> WA it is 43.95. This is equal to, when you calculate all this, the final value will be 156.06 gram per mole. You know that gram per mole, it is the unit for molecular mass or molar mass. So, Mb, the mass of the solute, will be equal to 156.06 gram per mole. It's a fairly straightforward question. Only here, the mass of the solvent is not directly given. Only density and volumes are given. If density and volume are given, you can easily calculate the mass. Then, delta Tf is not directly given. Two temperatures are given. Just subtract the temperatures, you will get the delta Tf. Then you can use all the values to calculate molar mass of the solute. Now, let us move forward with the next problem, the third numerical problem. Just a slightly complicated, not complicated, just slightly lengthy problem. We have 1.02 gram of urea when dissolved in, okay, this much of urea, it is dissolved in 98.5 gram of certain solvent. The solvent is unknown here, it is not given, doesn't matter. But this much of urea is dissolved in this much of solvent. Means urea is the solute. Decreases its freezing point. When urea is added to that so, uh, solvent, what happens? The freezing point decreases. It decreases by this much. Okay. The freezing point decreases by this much. Means this is delta Tf. It is depression in freezing point. Okay. Next, we have another solution here, 1.60 gram of unknown compound, another solute is taken, the solute is unknown here, the first solute is urea, you get one solution. In the second solution, unknown solute is added to the same solvent, okay, so this much of unknown solute is added to the same solvent, 86 gram of the same solvent. When it is done, what happens? Freezing point decreases again. Depresses, depresses means decreases. Decreases the freezing point by this much. Okay. So, in the first solution, we have urea, which is the solute. It is added to a solvent. Let us call it solvent A. What happens? It decreases the freezing point by this much 0.211 K. In the second solution, we have unknown compound. Okay, the solute is there, here it is unknown. Let us call it B. This is the second so a solution, a solute, unknown solute is taken. It is added to same solvent. Solvent A. Now when this is done, here also freezing point decreases. Here, delta Tf, it is equal to 0 0.34 Kelvin. What you have to calculate? Calculate the molar mass of unknown compound. You have to calculate the molar mass of unknown compound, unknown solute. Okay. Now, first let me write what is given. Let us talk about solution one first. Okay, let us talk about this solution, urea solution. Then we will come to the second solution. Now here, the mass of urea is given. You know urea is the solute here. So WB, mass of urea, it is equal to 1.02 gram. Mass of solvent is given. WA, it is 98.5 grams. Molar mass of urea is given, molar mass of B is given, so Mb is equal to 60 gram per mole. Then what else is given? The depression in freezing point is given. For first solution, delta Tf, it is equal to 0 0.211 K. Now what is not given? What is not given? Which value you don't know here? Kf value is not known. 
So what you have to do for this solution, you have to calculate KF first. Now you know the formula of MB. MB it is equal to KF multiplied by WB into 1000 divided by delta TF multiplied by WA. You know this formula. This is for the calculation of molar mass of the solute. Now for this solution, the value of MB is known. The value of WB and WA, they are known. The value of delta TF is known. What is not given? KF is not given. So let us calculate the value of KF. So if you rearrange this equation, the KF will be equal to, here we have MB. This will come above. So delta TF into WA divided by these things, they will come below. So WB into 1000. This is equal to, what is MB? MB is 60 multiplied by, what is delta TF? It is 0 0.211 multiplied by, what is WA? WA is 98.5 grams divided by, what is WB? Mass of solute 1.02 multiplied by, thousand. So when you calculate all these things, the value you will get here is 1.22. Now what is the unit for Kf? It is Kelvin kg per mole. So this is the value of Kf. So first you have to calculate the value of Kf. Now you can use this value of Kf for the second solution to calculate molar mass of the second solute. Okay, so let me write this Kf value here, that is 1.22 Kelvin kg per mole. Okay, so first you have to calculate the value of Kf. Now, moving forward, let us come to the second solution. Okay, second solution. In second solution, 1.60 gram of unknown solute, unknown compound, it is dissolved in 86 gram of the same solvent. Whichever the solvent you are using for the first solution, for the second solution also, same solvent is used. So here in the second solution, the weight of solute WB is 1.60 grams. The weight of solvent that is WA, it is 86 grams higher quantity, right. Now what happens when this solution is formed? It depresses or decreases the freezing point by this much. That means delta Tf for the second solution is this much. So delta Tf it is equal to 0.34 Kelvin. Kf value you already calculated. The solvent is same in both solution, hence Kf value will be same for both solutions. Okay, Kf value for a particular, for a certain solvent, it is always constant. So Kf for this solvent, it is equal to, calculated here, it is 1.22 Kelvin kg per mole. What you have to calculate? You have to calculate the molar mass of the unknown compound, the molar mass of the unknown solute. So MB, you have to calculate. You have all the values given. You can calculate MB here. You know the formula. MB, it is equal to KF multiplied by WB, weight of solute, into 1000 divided by you have delta Tf into, you have Wa, okay. Now, substituting the values of all these terms, Kf, it is 1.22, Wb, it is 1.6 into 1000 divided by delta Tf, 0.34. WA 86 
Now, when you calculate all these things, you will get the value of Mb. It is found to be 66.76 grams. This is Mb. Here it is gram per mole. So, this is the molar mass of the second solute that is unknown solute. So, if two solutions are given, first what you have to do? You have to calculate the value of Kf using all the given data. Then for the second solute, you can use this value of Kf to calculate the molar mass of the solute. Now, moving forward with the next numerical problem, that is the fourth problem. We have calculate the mass of a compound. You have to calculate the mass or weight of a compound whose molar mass is given. Okay, molar mass of this compound is given. This compound is to be dissolved in 75 grams of benzene. This compound, it is dissolved in 75 grams of benzene. Means benzene is the solvent. To lower its freezing point, when this addition is done, when this solute, this compound is dissolved in benzene, what happens? Freezing point will get lowered. Freezing point will decrease by this much. The freezing point will decrease by 0.48 Kelvin. That means this value it is delta Tf, depression in freezing point. The Kf value for benzene is given that is 5.12. Now, what you have to calculate here, you have to calculate the mass of the solute, mass of the compound. Okay, what is given? Molar mass of the compound is given. Mb is given that is 256 gram per mole. And the mass of solvent, weight of solvent is given that is Wa 75 grams. Delta Tf, depression in freezing point is given and that is 0 0.48 Kelvin. And finally, value of Kf, the constant is given, that is 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Now, you know the formula for Mb, calculation of molar mass of the solute, it is equal to Kf multiplied by Wb multiplied by 1000 divided by delta Tf multiplied by weight of solvent Wa. You have to calculate Wb here. All the other values are known, they are given. So, you have to rearrange the equation now. Wb is equal to, if you send these terms on the other side, they will come above. Mb into delta Tf multiplied by Wa divided by these things, they will come below. So, Kf multiplied by 1000. Now, this is equal to, what is the value of Mb, molar mass? It is 256 gram per mole multiplied by delta Tf, it is 0. 48 into Wa mass of solvent that is 75 grams divided by value of Kf that is 5.12 into 1000. This is equal to so when you calculate all this you will get a value 1.8. Now, the unit here is gram because you are calculating just the mass, not molar mass. So, this is the mass of the unknown compound, mass of the solute, that is 1.8 gram. So, usually Mb will be asked to calculate, then the value of Wb will be given. If the Wb is asked to calculate, then the value of Mb will be given. Next, moving forward with the next numerical problem on the molar mass of the solute. We have 15 grams of unknown material was dissolved in 450 grams of water. Okay, so here water is the solvent, 450 grams of water. And what is added to that water? Unknown material is added. 
how much unknown material is added 15 gram of unknown material it is added to 450 gram of water now when this happens a solution is formed obviously now the resulting solution was found to be was found to freeze at the resulting solution it freezes at this temperature okay when this unknown material is added to water a solution is formed that solution has a freezing point that is this much minus 0 0.34 degree celsius this is the freezing point of the solution now what is the molar mass of the material material means it is the solute here the solute is dissolved in water so you have to calculate the molar mass of the material or molar mass of the solute kf constant value is given that is 1.86 now first mass of the solute mass of the unknown material wb that is 15 grams then mass of the solvent that is water it is 450 grams then the value of kf is given that is 1.86 kelvin kg per mole you know the formula for delta Tf depression in freezing point is equal to the freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of solution. Okay, this is Tf naught. Naught means it is for pure solvent, pure component. So this is freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of solution. So freezing point of solution is given. Tf it is equal to minus 0 0.3 uh, 34 degree Celsius. Now what is what about Tf naught? What about the freezing point of the solvent? Which is the solvent here? Water. You know the freezing point of water. You know the melting point of water. It's general knowledge. So the melting point or freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius. So this is equal to melting point of or freezing point of pure solvent pure water that is 0 degree celsius minus the freezing point of the solution that is minus 0 0.34 degree celsius this is equal to now minus and minus it becomes plus so this is 0 0.34 degree celsius this is the value of delta tf depression in freezing point so if water is given and if the freezing point of water is not given then you have to take it as zero degree celsius if the other temperature is given in celsius you take it zero degree celsius if the other temperature it is given in kelvin then you take 273 Kelvin. Okay, so this is the freezing point of water. You can calculate the freezing depression in freezing point delta Tf. Now, using all this data, you can calculate the molar mass of the material. So, Mb, you know the formula. Mb it is equal to Kf multiplied by Wb multiplied by thousand divided by delta tf depression in freezing point multiplied by mass of solvent wb now value of kf is given value of wb wa is given delta tf you calculated here now substituting all these values you will get the value of mb now this is equal to so value of kf it is 1.86 mass of solute 15 grams multiplied by 1000 the value of delta tf 0 0.34 into the mass of solvent wa that is 450 now when you calculate all this you will get a value 182.35 this is gram per mole because it is the molar mass so this is the molar mass of the solute now again i will repeat here if the freezing point of the solution is given that is that much minus 0.34 degrees celsius if the solvent is water 
then you have to automatically take the freezing point of water as 0 degree Celsius. If the other temperature is given in Celsius, you have to take 0 degree Celsius. If the other temperature it is given in Kelvin, then you have to take this 273 Kelvin. Okay, so depending on the unit here, you have to take the freezing point of the solvent, freezing point of the water automatically. So this is the calculation of molar mass of the solute, very simple. Now, the last numerical problem we have here, it's a very, very simple one. It is a calculation for molar mass again, molar mass of the solute. Here we have 1.0 gram of non-electrolyte solute dissolved in 50 grams of benzene okay so this much of the solute it is dissolved in this much of benzene 50 grams of benzene when that occurs when it happens what happens lower okay lower the freezing point of benzene by 0 0.40 uh, kelvin now when solute is added to the benzene when the solute is added to the solvent what happens the freezing point of the benzene decreases okay it gets lowered how much it gets decreased by it decreases by 0 0.40 kelvin that means this is the delta t of depression in freezing point find the molar mass of the solute you have to calculate mb here k of value is given now Actually, this is not for water, it is for benzene because benzene is the solvent here. Okay, K up for benzene is 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Now, what is given? WB mass of solute is given that is 1.0 gram. Mass of solvent is given benzene 50 grams. Then delta Tf is given how much the freezing point decreases by that is delta tf it decreases by 0 0.40 so 0 0.40 kelvin then we have value of kf that is 5.12 kelvin kg per mole what you have to calculate you have to calculate molar mass of the solute mb you know the formula Kf multiplied by mass of the solute Wb multiplied by 1000 divided by depression in freezing point delta Tf multiplied by mass of the solvent Wa. This is equal to now you know the value of Kf given value of Wb Wa is given delta Tf is given. So all values are given it's a very simple problem we have to calculate mb so let us substitute these values there and calculate mb so kf is 5.12 multiplied by wb it is 1 gram multiplied by 1000 divided by delta tf 0 0.4 multiplied by wa it is 50 grams now this will be 512 by 2 and when you calculate this you'll get 256 gram per mole this is the molar mass of the unknown solute okay again all these calculation of molar mass of the solute i told you it is for three marks so one question regarding this will definitely come in the final annual examination for three marks there you have to calculate the molar mass of the solute it may be asked from depression in freezing point it may be asked from elevation in boiling point it may be asked from osmotic pressure which i'll be explaining in the next class or it can be asked from relative lowering of vapor pressure any four colligative properties can be used to ask the problem on molar mass of the solute so it is a definite fixed question for three marks also very simple quite straightforward questions